What do you think the Orioles will do now as we approach, approach the trade deadline? Well, you know, I, I think the, the trade market for a few reasons is getting thinner. And one of those big reasons is the fact that the Orioles are, are competing. And look, I don't think they're in the business of, of trading for a rental, right? They're not trading for Andrew Benatendi. They're not trading for a rental pitcher or Josh Bell uh, because that doesn't make sense for them. At the end of the day, probably not competing for a World Series this year. But at the same time, Trey Mantini can't be going outward. Anthony Santander may not be going out because they have a shot. And and I think that sends a really bad message to a fan base that's been very patient through the rebuilding years and, and really deserve this fun team that has put it together because they've caught up the top prospects in baseball. They've had guys like Austin Hayes make a leap. Cedric Mullins has gotten hot. Uh, the, the rest of the team is just playing really well, and they've pieced together the pitching. The bullpen is sneaky good. Uh, I, I think they're going to be calculated buyers, meaning – if they go out and get somebody, it's going to be a guy with multiple years of control. John Morosi highlighted Pablo Lopez as an option if the Marlins look to go that route. That's a starting pitcher who helps them now, but also is under control for several years. Those are the kind of moves I could see them make. Uh, it'll be a, a blockbuster-ish trade because you got to give up a lot to get players with control. But I think that's what we're going to see from the Orioles is, is somewhat calculated buying.